Chapter 10, Secrets in the Mist Hidden amidst the shadows of the misty shrouded canyons, the group listened intently to the bulldog's casual chatter. The fog provided cover as the bulldogs exchanged stories, unaware of the eavesdroppers. So, what do you think about King Ben's plans? One bulldog asked, their gruff voice carrying through the mist. A hushed silence fell over the group as they strained to catch every word. Another bulldog responded, about stealing the Ulam Accords? Argo's gasp cut through the air, resonating so loudly that the bulldog's ears perked up in alarm. Sensing danger, they readied themselves for an unexpected threat. A skirmish erupted as Argo's exclamation exposed their hidden presence. Blades clashed, and spells were cast, creating a chaotic tableau in the misty canyons. Amidst the melee, Argo urgently called to the others, this isn't just about the fate of Pugland. If he's going after the Ulam Accords, it's way worse. The revelation hung in the air, ominous and foreboding. The Ulam Accords, ancient artifacts of immense power, held the potential to unleash forces beyond imagination. As the group grappled with the unfolding danger. Chapter 11, The Escape and Revelations the chaotic skirmish in the misty shrouded canyons forced the group into a swift retreat. They ran through the twisting canyons, the echoes of the fight fading behind them. The pursuit gradually waned, allowing them to put distance between themselves and the bulldog adversaries. Exhausted and on edge, they finally stopped at a weathered building on the outskirts of Pugland. Seeking refuge, they entered the inn, where a sense of normalcy provided a brief respite. Argo, his expression grave, gathered the group for an urgent discussion. The Ulam Accords, he began, his voice carrying a weight of solemnity, is an incredibly powerful object hidden away in another dimension. It holds the potential to unravel not only Pugland but also Earth and countless other worlds if it falls into the wrong hands. A collective gasp filled the room as the gravity of Argo's words sank in. The group exchanged concerned glances, realizing that their quest had taken an unforeseen turn, transcending the boundaries of their beloved Pugland. Argo continued, it has been guarded for centuries, but with King Ben's forces seeking it, the very fabric of existence is at stake. We must prevent the Ulam Accords from falling into the wrong hands at all costs. As the weight of their newfound responsibility settled upon them, the group understood that their journey had transformed into a mission of cosmic proportions. The inn's walls seemed to close in as they contemplated the vastness of the threat they now faced. With resolute determination, the group prepared to venture forth once more. The misty shrouded canyons, the Ulam Accords, and the fate of not just Pugland but multiple worlds hung in the balance. Chapter 12 gathering of resolve. Returning to the Order's base, the group found the atmosphere fraught with tension. Members of the Order paced anxiously, their expressions filled with fear and uncertainty. The imminent threat of King Ben obtaining the Ulam Accords had cast a dark shadow over Pugland. In the midst of the commotion, Dave, the steady and composed member of the Order, stepped forward. His calming presence quelled the rising panic. Everyone, calm down, he urged, his voice cutting through the air like a beacon of reassurance. As the room hushed, he continued, we've faced challenges before, and we've always overcome them. Panicking won't help. We must remain focused and resolute. Jet, Zeke, Jack, and Argo joined the circle, their determined expressions echoing Dave's sentiments. No matter what, Jet declared, we will beat King Ben. The Ulam Accords won't fall into his hands, and Pugland will be safe. The collective resolve of the group ignited a spark of hope within the Order. Kit, Max, and the other Pugs, inspired by the unwavering determination of their allies, rallied together. The once fearful atmosphere transformed into one of determination and unity. We've faced bulldogs, spiders, and mystical challenges before, Max proclaimed, his tail wagging with newfound confidence. This time won't be any different. 
we stand together, and we will prevail. The order, bolstered by the alliance with Jet, Zeke, and Jack. Reaffirmed their commitment to protect Pugland and the Yulam Accords. The room resonated with a shared sense of purpose. The collective determination served as a beacon of hope. The fate of Pugland and countless worlds hung in the balance. Chapter 13 Gathering Intel in the Village In the heart of the village, the group realized the need for crucial information about King Ben's forces. As they strolled through the lively village, adorned with colorful decorations and bustling with activity, Jet and Zeke approached friendly pugs, seeking any clues about recent bulldog sightings. Their first stop was Granny Pugglebump's quaint bakery. Granny, a wise pug known for her delicious treats, greeted them warmly. Zeke inquired, Granny, have you seen any bulldogs around here lately? We've heard rumors about unusual activities. Granny paused, wiping flour from her paws, indeed, dear. I spotted them near the orchard, talking about some ancient power. Be cautious. Jed and Zeke thanked Granny and made their way to Pugsworth Square, where they encountered Mayor Pugsworth overseeing village affairs. Jed asked, Mayor Pugsworth, have you heard anything about bulldogs causing trouble? We're trying to gather information. Mayor Pugsworth adjusted his tiny glasses, ah, yes. They were near the gazebo, plotting something. Mentioned a mystical artifact. Stay vigilant, my young friends. You know that bulldogs can be very dangerous. Their last stop was Pippa's Potion Emporium, a mysterious shop filled with magical concoctions. Pippa, an eccentric pug with a penchant for potions, greeted them with a twirl of her cape. Zeke questioned, Pippa, any word on bulldogs causing mischief? We need to know what they're up to. Pippa lopped at them, oh, Eve never heard of any bulldogs around. As Jet and Zeke regrouped, they exchanged the gathered intel. The misty shrouded canyons held more secrets than anticipated, and the focus shifted to deciphering the bulldogs' mysterious intentions. Armed with newfound knowledge from Capucho Village, the group prepared to navigate the enigmatic path ahead. Chapter 14 Dreams of Destiny After a day filled with gathering intel in the village, the group returned to the Order's base as evening descended. Kit, Max, Dave, Jet, Zeke, Argo, and Jack prepared for a much-needed night of rest before embarking on their expeditions to uncover the Bulldogs' plans. As the soft glow of lanterns illuminated the base, the group settled into their sleeping quarters, hoping for rejuvenating sleep. The night unfolded peacefully, and the pugs and their human companions drifted into dreams filled with enigmatic visions. In the quiet hours before dawn, Jet, Zeke, and Jack found themselves standing in an inexplicable, empty field. The landscape stretched endlessly, devoid of any familiar landmarks. Confusion etched their faces as they looked around. Suddenly, an old man materialized before them, his cloak billowing in an unseen breeze. His eyes gleamed with ancient wisdom as he declared, It's up to you. What? Jet replied very confused, It's up to you to save the world. The trio exchanged bewildered glances. Us? Jack questioned, incredulous. But we're just kids, Jet added. Before they could make sense of the surreal encounter, the world around them blurred, and the dreamlike field dissolved. In an instant, they woke up in their beds back at the Order's base. Jet, still groggy from sleep, rubbed his eyes and muttered, Please don't tell me y'all had the same dream. Zeke and Jack exchanged puzzled looks, realizing that the mysterious dreams weren't unique to just one of them. The air in the room carried a hint of anticipation and uncertainty as they contemplated the cryptic message delivered in their shared dreams. Chapter 15 Unveiling Shared Dreams As dawn painted the sky with hues of pink and gold, Jack and Zeke, stirred by the mysterious shared dream, confirmed to Jet that they, too, had experienced the enigmatic encounter with the old man in the empty field. Q. 
curiosity urging them forward, the trio emerged from their sleeping quarters and walked through the door into the common area of the Order's base. To their surprise, the rest of the Order was already gathered, chatting about the day ahead. Morning, Jet, Zeke, Jack. Kit greeted them with a friendly wag of her tail. Hey, everyone, Jet replied, still processing the peculiar nature of their shared dream. Zeke and Jack confirmed they had the same dream, prompting a collective exchange of puzzled glances. Argo, Max, and Dave listened attentively as the trio recounted the details of the dream and the old man's cryptic message. I've heard of dreams carrying important messages in our world, Argo mused. Perhaps this is a sign, a guide to our next steps. As they discussed where to go next, each member of the Order expressed their preference. Kit suggested revisiting the foggy forest, where they might uncover additional clues about King Ben's plans. Max proposed exploring the mystic mountains, known for ancient artifacts that might be relevant to their quest. Dave recommended investigating the Whispering Caves, rumored to hold echoes of past events that could aid them. Argo, reflecting on the dream, suggested venturing to the mysterious Dreamer's Haven, a place of mystical significance. Before a decision was reached, Jet interjected, Man, I'm so glad to be back adventuring with all of you again. Me too, Argo replied. And I wish we could take it slow, but unfortunately, with King Ben's plans, we have to devote everything to stopping him. The sentiment hung in the air, a reminder of the urgency that underscored their quest. Chapter 16, Paths Untraveled Amidst the lively debate about their next destination, the group hesitated between the foggy forest, mystic mountains, and the whispering caves. Each location held its own allure, potential clues, and dangers. After careful consideration, the group decided to explore the mystic mountains. The allure of ancient artifacts and the potential connection to their shared dreams swayed their decision. Feeling the urgency of their mission, the Order swiftly gathered their supplies, preparing for the challenging journey that lay ahead. The air crackled with a sense of anticipation as they embarked on the path leading to the towering peaks of the Mystic Mountains. As they journeyed, Kit, wagging her tail, asked, Who's the King of Earth, Jet? Jet chuckled, There's not really a King of Earth, but England does have a King. Max tilted his head, Do they have magical portals to other worlds like we do? Zeke grinned, No, unfortunately. Earth is a bit more ordinary in that regard. Dave, ever inquisitive, asked, What's the most famous Earth delicacy you've tasted, Jet? Jack laughed, Uh, I don't know. While Dave stated, You don't know much about your world, do you? The journey unfolded with a blend of earthly curiosity, camaraderie, and the collective resolve to uncover the secrets hidden within the mystic muantons. Chapter 17, Journey to the Mystic Mountains As the group set out towards the Mystic Mountains, a sense of anticipation mingled with apprehension. The winding path ahead seemed to stretch endlessly, shrouded in mystery and uncertainty. Jet, Zeke, Jack, and the pugs walked in determined silence, their thoughts consumed by the impending challenges and the enigmatic dreams that had guided their path. Jet's mind buzzed with questions, the weight of responsibility pressing down on him. He wondered about the significance of the shared dreams and the old man's cryptic message. Were they truly the chosen ones destined to save Pugland, or were they merely pawns in a larger, unseen game? Zeke, ever the optimist, tried to maintain a sense of optimism amidst the uncertainty. He reminded himself of the bonds of friendship that bound them together, drawing strength from the companionship of his friends and the unwavering loyalty of the pugs. Jack, normally full of playful banter, felt a sense of unease gnawing at him. The dreams had shaken him to the core, awakening a dormant fear of the unknown. He tried to push aside his apprehensions, focusing instead on the task at hand and the support of his friends by his side. The pugs, sensing the tension among their human companions, emitted low whimpers of concern. They, too, felt the weight of the impending quest, 
their instincts urging them forward even as their hearts fluttered with uncertainty. As they approached the base of the mystic mountains, a dense fog enveloped the landscape, casting an eerie glow over the rugged terrain. The air grew colder, chilling them to the bone as they ventured deeper into the mist-shrouded expanse. The towering peaks loomed ominously overhead, their jagged silhouettes cutting through the haze like ancient sentinels guarding a long-forgotten secret. The group pressed on, their footsteps echoing in the stillness of the mountains, each step bringing them closer to their destiny. As they began to ascend the treacherous slopes, the mist thickened, obscuring their vision and distorting their sense of direction. They navigated through the labyrinthine passages with cautious determination, every twist and turn fraught with the possibility of danger. But amidst the uncertainty and the looming shadows of the mountains, a glimmer of hope flickered in their hearts. For they knew that together, united in purpose and bound by friendship, they would face whatever challenges lay ahead and emerge victorious, their resolve unwavering in the face of adversity. Chapter 18 The Chase Begins as the group delved deeper into the mystic mountains, their senses heightened, alert for any signs of the bulldog's presence. Every shadow seemed to conceal a potential threat, and the silence of the mountains was deafening. They traversed rocky terrain and winding pathways, scanning the landscape for any clues. Jet, Zeke, Jack, and the pugs moved cautiously, their eyes darting from rock to rock, searching for any trace of their adversaries. Minutes turned into hours as they combed through the mountainside, the tension mounting with each passing moment. Jack's nerves were on edge, his senses heightened as he strained to catch any sign of movement. Suddenly, a rustling in the underbrush caught his attention. Bulldog, he exclaimed, his voice echoing off the rocky walls. The group froze, their hearts pounding in their chests as they scanned the area. Sure enough, a bulldog emerged from the shadows, its eyes darting frantically as it spotted the intruders. Without hesitation, the bulldog bolted, disappearing into a nearby cave before anyone could react. Jet, Zeke, Jack, and the pugs exchanged a glance, their determination renewed as they set off in pursuit. The cave loomed before them, its dark entrance a foreboding reminder of the dangers that lurked within. But they pressed on, their resolve unyielding as they ventured deeper into the unknown depths. The air grew colder, the darkness swallowing them whole as they navigated through the twisting passages. The sound of their footsteps echoed off the walls, mingling with the distant drip of water and the occasional scuffle of movement. But amidst the darkness and uncertainty, a glimmer of hope burned bright in their hearts. For they knew that with each step they took, they drew closer to uncovering the truth behind King Ben's sinister plans and bringing an end to his reign of terror once and for all. Chapter 19 The Ancient Artifact As they chased the bulldog through the dim cave with moist walls, its frantic footsteps echoed off the damp stone, leading them deeper into the labyrinthine passages. The bulldog seemed to dart around with purpose, as if following a predetermined path, leaving the group struggling to keep pace. Jet, Zeke, Jack, and the pugs pushed themselves to their limits, their breaths coming in ragged gasps as they pursued their elusive quarry. But despite their efforts, the bulldog managed to slip out of their sight, disappearing around a corner. Exhausted and disoriented, they found themselves at a fork in the road, the dim light barely illuminating the path ahead. With no clear direction to follow, they paused, straining their ears for any sign of the bulldog's presence. After a tense moment of silence, they heard the faint echo of footsteps coming from the left. Without hesitation, they chose that path, their determination renewed as they pressed onward. As they rounded a bend, their eyes widened in astonishment at the sight before them a shiny, ancient object resting on a pedestal in the center of a cavernous chamber. Its surface glimmered in the dim light, casting an otherworldly glow that seemed to beckon to them. Jet, Zeke, and Jack exchanged incredulous glances, their hearts pounding with excitement and anticipation. Could this be the key they had been searching for, the ancient artifact that held the answers to King Ben's plans? With cautious steps, they approached the pedestal, their hands trembling with anticipation. 
This discovery marked a turning point in their quest, propelling them closer to the truth and the ultimate showdown with King Ben. Chapter 20 Unveiling the Trap As the group approached the ancient artifact with cautious steps, anticipation hung thick in the air. Argo, ever the curious pug, reached out to touch it, but before his paw could make contact, a searing heat emanated from the artifact, causing him to recoil with a yelp of pain. Oh no! Argo exclaimed, his voice filled with alarm. I've seen this before. It's a trap. Before anyone could react, the wall next to them erupted in a deafening explosion, sending chunks of rock flying in all directions. Through the billowing dust and debris emerged the menacing figure of King Ben, flanked by his loyal followers. The Order's hearts raced as they scrambled to their feet, their minds reeling from the sudden turn of events. Without a moment's hesitation, they turned and fled, their footsteps echoing off the cavern walls as they raced towards the exit. King Ben's voice reverberated through the chamber, filled with malice and triumph. You're the only thing in my way to greatness, he bellowed, his words dripping with venom. As they ran, a crackling spark of lightning shot out from King Ben's staff, illuminating the darkness with its malevolent glow. The Order knew they had to escape and regroup, for the battle against King Ben had only just begun, and the stakes had never been higher. Amidst the chaos, Jack let out a scream, his voice echoing through the cavern. King Ben had sent some kind of attack the hit Jack. To be continued. Thank you for listening. Sorry if there were any glitches and for the long wait. The next parts should release much quicker.